the little man, Duke Mackenzie. At today's weigh-in at one o'clock, both boxers scaled eight stone at 13 pounds. Your officials for this contest, appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge, Mr. Dennis Lufton, the timekeeper, Mr. Colin Roberts, and the referee, Mr. Paul Thomas of Derby. So all set and ready to go for the first bell. Here's your commentary team of Barry McGuigan and Jim Rosenthal. Gary, thank you very much indeed. Good evening, everybody. If you're thinking about popping upstairs to bed, I would stay with this one, because this one has all the makings. A lovely atmosphere building up here at the Withenshaw Forum. Terrific support for this guy, John Davison, from the Toon Army. Newcastle United fans have had a good day already with their team winning by a couple of goals at Goodison Park. And a tremendous contrast in styles between the clever boxer, Duke McKenzie, his heaviest ever at 8.13, his first fight right up there at Feather. And John Davison says he's a very young 35. He picked up this game late. But one thing is guaranteed about this little guy, who hasn't had as much national exposure as he might have deserved, that he is never involved in boring fights. He's a come-on fighter, he gives it absolutely everything, and he is Mr. Excitement. That's for sure. He's an exciting kid. Small. You can see right away he's a southpaw. Very powerful puncher at short distance. And what he'll want to do against McKenzie is get up close and bang him around the body. And McKenzie's job is to keep him at arm's length and move around. This is a small ring, so it's going to suit Davidson if he, can if he can close the gap down between him and McKenzie. And McKenzie's job is to keep him at distance. Thank you, Barry. Word has it, John Davison totally relaxed. I'm informed he was actually asleep in his dressing room an hour ago. And oh. Takes an early tumble in this first round. No count from referee Paul Thomas. Just a little shove and uh, nothing to worry about for John Davison, the Geordie warrior. As Gary has been saying to you, defeat would be pretty disastrous for either of these two well both of them are at a crossroads in the career and uh, both of them have to win this fight Duke is starting off quite well here he's taking the centre of the ring he's doing the right thing he's got to give himself room to get back with an attacking fighter like Davidson he's got to be able to get out of trouble so he's doing well jabbing pretty good so a minute to go in this opening round. And Davison, I uh, chatted to him at the weigh-in round about midday today. He knew he was going to be in for a very hard one. And he said, I just love to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys. I don't like clever fighters. I like to get in there and bang. And McKenzie knew that he would be hunted and knew he would have to fight at distance. But he's a lovely, classy fighter and he wants that bit of a history, McKenzie. He hasn't made as much money as he should out of this boxing game. And he wants that bit of history. So it's good work from McKenzie in this round. His clean, accurate punches delivering them absolutely beautifully. As I was saying, he wants those four world titles. And, of course, if he wins here, he'll have a step at them, a shot at them next year. Intriguing first round. Withenshaw Forum just around the corner from Manchester Airport this fight yet to take off but uh, already just a few little boiling bubbles occurring up there if I can put it like that and uh, there was high expectancy about this one everyone felt we could be in for a real little gem here as they scrap it out for the vacant British featherweight title word has it that um, Davidson was a bit low earlier this week of course Paul Hawkinson pulling out he prepared for Hawkinson but uh, got his brain together and his fighting mood right he is a man of moods for this one and just looking early in this round Mackenzie scoring with that classical left jab 
that could be a very important punch and Barry McGuigan I think that uh, Mackenzie has got to keep Davison away from his midsection it could be just a bit susceptible yeah absolutely he's doing exactly the right thing watch what he's doing here he's, uh, he's delivering quick hard punches he's getting his hands back up and what he's doing is he's forcing Davidson back he's taking the centre of the ring and he's not allowing the aggressive strong little fighters to take the initiative and he's getting off quicker he's, been, he's getting to the target first Certainly looking at Mackenzie there, he fired off four or five sharp little jabs. Clever fighter and good hard. In fact, you could, couldn't fall to either of these two guys when it comes from a fighting heart. And a good short little right hand there from Mackenzie. That caught him, I thought that wobbled him, Barry, and he's in trouble. He's in big trouble here. A good right hand from Mackenzie. And he, he mustn't fall into the trap of leaving himself open because Davidson can bang. But that was a good attack. Good right hand. Definitely shook Davidson. Beautiful little classical right-hander from Duke McKenzie. Best punch of the fight so far. And Davidson, the 35-year-old knees, went just a bit rubbery. Good left hand coming in once again from McKenzie. Yeah, this Davidson. is a great second round from Duke McKenzie. Davidson's in trouble here, definitely legs wobbled right to the floor there and uh, he definitely seems to be coming apart and Duke is boxing absolutely brilliantly, he's just putting his punches together very clean, delivering them very accurately and he's, he's winning this fight big time and that was another couple of good shots that came in from the 30 year old Mackenzie from Croydon, both down, there'll be no count it's a bit of a stumble and it's significant I think that that Toon Army the big northeastern support for John Davison have gone just a little bit quiet at the moment. Yeah, Davidson's legs look very shaky there. I, I believe that a good three-punch combination from McKenzie could really have this guy at sixes and sevens. Great round then from Duke McKenzie. He really has been the governor in this round and Davidson wobbling once again right at the end of it. Terrific round from McKenzie this one. So, anxious moments in that corner for the Geordie, John Davison, Tommy Conroy, manager and uh, trainer, just trying to blow a little bit of sense into his brain there. It's been a real, real tough round for him, Barry. Yeah, watch these clean, accurate points. Look at that beautifully timed right hand. And Davidson's legs really went there. And McKenzie just... Every one of his punches he's making them count. He's shown his experience. Look at that left uppercut, right hook around the side. All of those punches are hitting the target area. And Davison tried to come back there, but this big round for Duke McKenzie. Again, we see that left uppercut. Look at how accurate he is there. And Davidson's legs were very badly wobbled as he went back to the corner. All these hard fights are starting to show and they're starting to take their toll on him.